Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock Galactic over on skycave.net. As you can see, we're on top of our um, profit shop here. Uh, that is because today I would like to add yet another floor. Um, for those keeping track, this would be floor number four. You might be wondering, what could you possibly add up here? Well, um, I kind of want a space for all of the misc things. I would like to have like a small sort of a brewing area um, with a brewing stand, the excess puffer fish that we get from fishing, a nether wart, which is needed for brewing, of course. Um, I was thinking we could have our own little nether wart farm up here somewhere, a small one, but you know, a useful one, something uh, that will keep our small stock in stock. And then I was thinking of an area to sell food. Uh, not just what we have down here. Here we have steak. On this side over here we have fish that people can use just for food if they'd like. More things making like making cookies. I really love Minecraft cookies. I'd like to do that. Um, cake, pumpkin pie, rabbit stew, that sort of thing. And accompanying that I was thinking maybe a few areas for tiny farms. Um, a small area for maybe two or three cows where I can get the milk from. Ooh. Um, an area to put a couple of chickens or rabbits or whatnot. And of course there are saddles and name tags that we get from fishing as well. Right now those are on the second floor, but they feel incredibly out of place. So I'd like an area just for these sorts of things um, that kind of don't go anywhere else. Okay, so I've already laid down a sort of floor because we had this here and I don't want to use that, so I just kind of evened it out. I did some uh, landscaping, I guess. Stone landscaping, I don't know if that qualifies, but... <laughs> okay, so I bought quite a bit of stuff. Um, probably won't end up using a lot of it, <laughs> um, but just some things that really interested me. I am have always wanted to use red sand, so I don't think I've ever used it for anything. Um, but I quite like it in this texture pack, and so I'm kind of hoping that this will be useful in some way. Um, we'll see. Um, the spruce wood I want to use for the sort of brewing area. I'm kind of thinking a sort of a witch's hut kind of feel, you know? Um, um, we will of course need soul sand for our nether wart farm. So I don't know if I want the, um, the floor to be spruce. For right now, let's go ahead and work on the walls. Where do I want to put this? For now, I think I will go ahead and just make the floor out of spruce as well. sort of wondering if I shouldn't put windows here. Although it's not that great of a view. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. It might help if I bring some of this stuff with me. I have the brewing stuff already downstairs. Down here. I moved it over here because I didn't know what else to do with it. I wanted to offer um, puffer fish and here is where I was going to put another wart. By the way, I really like how this looks here. Looks like alien plants, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but, okay, so... I know people can't use the brewing stand. But, I mean, it's good decoration, right? By the way, that is still not working at the moment. Um, I think it's gonna have to wait until I get the next tier of spawners. Oh, Nebby, come on. Okay. Oh, and I don't have an axe. Okay, not the best axe ever, but it will be... It's good enough for what we're doing. Not sure how long it'll last. Um, okay, so brewing stand. Um, maybe we'll stick that there. You know, I kind of wonder, should I sell potions? Oh, 
Oh, that is a lot of kind of potions. I'm gonna go ahead and look through these and see if any of them seem useful. Um, and then maybe tally up the ones that I do want. Okay, so there are... Well, there are quite a few craftable potions, um, but there are 13 base ones. Um, I'm thinking of having those and not offering their splash potion or lingering potion variants. Um, for that, I could just sell, I don't know, redstone dust and glowstone dust, um, gunpowder and whatnot so that people can modify them. So I think what I need to do is figure out how I'm going to go ahead and sell these, where they're going to be. Um, I'm definitely not doing double chest. I don't think there will be many people buying these. Um, I'm pretty much just going to um, have single chests and I'll fill those up maybe and then that'll be that. Um, and if anybody buys any then I can restock but I kind of really doubt it. I'm gonna need some stairs and uh, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't go ahead and make this a little taller. Maybe going up not three, but four? Unsure. I guess we should probably place things first. Okay, so... Pufferfish... Now I know that pufferfish is only useful for making potions of water breathing, um, but we get so many of them from AFK fishing, so I mean, there's no reason not to sell them. And then maybe they will put glass bottles? Um, what else? Maybe the modifiers? Um, Let's see, um, redstone, and on the other side, ooh, okay, <gasps> no, on the side glowstone, um, and then we would need one more for gunpowder, hmm, oh no, we also need another wart, okay, that works out well, okay, so those are the main ones that we need. And as I said, here we go. One more up then. It's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, should we put the uh, potions in? Let's see. The potions, I would do this way. Since again, this is our build limit here and we'll only need one uh, chest anyway. So let's go ahead and do it this way. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. We have 13 potions. Maybe we'll go ahead and put the um, glass bottle or water bottle in with this group. That might be best. Um, and then let's go ahead and move this across. Okay. Now part of me really wants to use um, item frames, but there's like a limit on the number of item frames you can have, so I don't want to take it up with potions. I mean, they all look the same. Oh, I still don't like this floor. I wonder if I could do it in actual, like, spruce. Would that look okay? Hmm. Not sure. Anyways, okay, so... Is that all the items we wanted to sell? Oh, we also want, um, an area for, um... For a small nether wart farm. Oh, this is really difficult because this floor is very distracting. I'm not a fan. As a trim, maybe I like it. Okay, I bought some things. 
Uh, let's go ahead and see if any of this looks alright. I think we're gonna have to get rid of this part. Okay, that's brown wool. I mean, the color matches alright. Which one was this? Terracotta. Very acacia y. Um, this is brown terracotta. I mean, I do like the texture here. Okay, I also really like the brown terracotta. I really do like this texture. Um, I think it goes pretty good here. The wool, just the idea of wool doesn't really sound very witchy, does it? Not sure how I feel about this. The leaves are probably not such a great idea. Um, I'm honestly not a huge fan of cobblestone in general, but I kind of do like the moss. So I'm kind of thinking maybe like a mixture between the two might look okay, might look nice. Perhaps. I don't know. Mm, I don't know if that really goes very well with the spruce, you know? Maybe we could do a border of spruce. And that might look alright. Okay, I think we need to figure out where it is we're gonna have this. Um, kind of thinking here. But I don't really want it to be in the way, you know? Although maybe it's fitting for um, people to have to walk through it. No, no, no. I forget. Soul sand, very slow. That would be frustrating. Yeah, we'll leave an open area here. Um, and... Oh. I mean, I think that's a decent size for it. I hope. <laughs> No, I mean, it grows extremely quickly, and, um, I don't exactly need a lot of it myself. Well, in the beginning I will, just for the potions, but otherwise, not really. And then we can go ahead and add this in. villagers. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I say we decorate it later. Um. I do wonder if I'm gonna use some of these spruce leaves. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. That away for now. So the next area I want to work on is sort of the I don't know what to call it, the kitchen area, I guess? <laughs> um, I want to put that out here, along this area. Um, if only because I might want to extend it out a little bit this way as well. Um, so I have a place for like the animals that I'm using. I wanted this to look like an actual kitchen. So like the black and the white sort of, you know, pattern. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look too weird, we will see. Let's see how this works out now. I think the hardest part are going to be the transitions. Maybe I should have used the mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks here. I might very well change that. Okay. Oh, 
Restarting. Oh no! Look who it is! Get the end! I think he's AFK. <laughs> okay. And we're back again. Okay. Alright, so. Back to this. Nebby, you must like this. Like, you can jump between holes. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. Here, uh, there, and there. Now, I know it's, it's more of a cream color than a white color, but I didn't want anything too stark. Um, we got that going on over there, so... I've always wanted to use the white terracotta, this cream color. I think it looks nice. Okay. Now, I was kind of thinking this because I was thinking maybe it's like a wallpaper, you know? No, I don't know. Ooh. That is a strong wallpaper. Oh, great. And it's terracotta. Why do I do this to myself? And that side connected. <laughs> That's not. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I forgot how difficult this is. So I think that's how it's, it's supposed to go together. Um, and it's kind of a mess. I mean, I like it honestly, but this is like eyes. Ooh. And these arms, these spaghetti kind of arms, it's kind of like some weird creature. It's kind of freaking me out. Um, I mean, it's cool. I'm going to have to use it for something. But I don't think this is it. So we will have to think about something else to put there. Uh, I mean, I do have light gray and gray terracotta. That looks so sterile. I don't know how I feel about that in all honesty. I will have to think about it. Okay, so I've decided to go with birch. Um, I think it looks really nice together. Especially with this cream kind of white. And now I guess we should decide what it is we are selling. Oh, by the way, I did change this. I went with brick and I also did the stairs here on the side. Um, I like it a lot more. So, let's see, I wanted to sell cookies and cake and pumpkin pie, let's see what all we have in here. Okay, so I counted 13 kinds of food, um, including eggs. Alright, this is my fish. And that's cooking there, this, this here will have to be moved. Because that's kind of in the way. Um, the cooked meats, let's put them um, on this side. So there's pork chop, chicken, and rabbit. Um, all the fish and the steak is down here. And then on this side, I um, kind of just want to put eggs there. And then let's see what you make with eggs. Okay, so pumpkin pie, cake. Those are the only two things we make with eggs. Okay. Pumpkin pie and cake there. Oh, you know what? We forgot mutton. Cooked mutton. Right there. And then we have two soups. The rabbit soup. Ra well, the rabbit stew. Um, oh, the mushroom stew and the beetroot soup, so that's three more things. I'm gonna put that there. Um, so all that's left is bread, cookies, um, and I also wanted to sell apples. I wonder if I should put the apples just here and have sort of like the raw foods just right here. Um, and then two more. So bread and cookies. 
Now I don't think that I'm going to be selling um, cocoa beans. However, I do want to grow them here. I know we have some growing up there in the where the tree farm area is. We still unfinished tree farm, <laughs> but I don't want to uh, put it here as well. Maybe here along this side, or maybe right here in this area. We don't have a lot going on here. Um, let's see. Need to fix this. If anyone needs fish, please come by. Got some cooked fish, a ton of it, and a ton of cooked salmon. Please come by and get it. Okay, um, to extend this out. As well. have the trees. If we're having trees here, then I mean, it makes some sense that they'd have a more natural kind of a area, right? Okay. Or I might move- actually, you know what? I'm moving the apples. And I want them here. Sort of next to the trees, that makes sense, right? Even though they are jungle trees. So I want to let that spread first. Um, so I might get rid of that and just add dirt back there. And sort of have the trees kind of growing up this way, you know? I think I'm gonna do that. Oh! My axe is gone. We have a chicken in our storage area. Hello there. <laughs> uh, and a sheep here. And I think we also have a cute little pig running around. Like seriously the most adorable pig. There it is. Hey you. Hey. Look at me. Look at that face. So cute. I mean, I know I can set the logs on just about anything, but I, I think it'd look nice. And it's kind of... it works well with the stone sort of thing. Maybe not so well with the kitchen, but... <laughs> uh, you know, it's okay. <laughs> we'll pretend that that's, that's normal. I suppose this area over here is going to be for misc things. A lot of space, but that's good because it's probably all we'll ever need, hopefully. Did want to go ahead and make an area for some animals. Now, I wanted to do it sort of coming out this way. I also wanted to do it in birch, because it's sort of an extension of this kitchen. So I'm thinking I will have a door here. Coming out this way. Now, I haven't decided if I want to make this sort of accessible, like have let people go through. Um, I don't know if people can kill your farm animals. I mean, I think we can kill cow spawn, the cows that spawn from the cow spawner, but other than that, I'm not sure. Because if so, then I am probably gonna have to block this off. For the time being, let's just make it look nice. Um, 
Maybe coming out this way, and you kind of turn, and uh, animals. Although, you know what? I got a better idea. Maybe not that far out. Maybe, yeah, just is that one. This is one. Okay. I have to go through these chests later and <laughs> see where all my stuff is. Oh, look, an item frame. Some gray wool. People, come buy steak. <laughs> um, okay, so... Anyways, okay, so we'll need chickens. Um, I want to put them more here, though, because I just kind of want to feed their eggs right into here. Let's see, the chickens will be... Okay, so... Um... I don't want too many chickens. I mean, I don't... It's not necessary. Not to mention it adds to the spawn count, so... That's also not something I want. Um, you know, I can put slabs here and, and the items will fall through, right? I really don't want them to have to walk on hoppers. It does not seem very nice. Okay, let's see. Let's test it out. What could we drop? Let's drop a thing of black terracotta. Oh, yep. And there we are. Okay, good. Good. I wish there was like a slab that was green. Could I use leaves? Hmm. I wonder if leaves would work. Okay, let's try this out. If it doesn't work, um... We could probably try lily pads. Uh, those might work. Uh, it wouldn't look so nice. And there is, of course, always the green carpet trick. I have to admit, not my favorite. Okay. Now let's see. If I drop a sea lantern. Oh, man. Doesn't work. Okay. That's a shame. That would have been very nice looking, I think. But you do lily pads on top of water. That's a possibility. Maybe we should go ahead and try the lily pads on top of water. Let's put this back. Go. Now let's go ahead and grab some of these. Let's see if it even works. No, it doesn't. Oh my goodness. That is that's a that's a shame. Okay. <laughs> I thought for sure that would work. That would have been so nice looking. Oh, Bummer. Okay. I guess that's that, you guys. At least this works. Oh well, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, let's add some glass. weird. Why are there no connected textures? Well, I like this one. Let's go with this one. Actually, I think I think I'm gonna block this side off just so they can't see the 
The cows over there dying. I know technically they can hear them still, but me you know. And let's go ahead and make this one into a light source. There we go. I say we go ahead and spawn some chickens in here. Okay, three. I think three is more than enough. There's only a limit of 30 animals, I believe. Um, I don't think that spawner animals count in this number, but 30, so not much. And I still want a whole bunch of animals up there, so... Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these up here. Eventually we'll get everything we need and have one of each showing there. Um, oh yes, I still need this. Oh, that has not grown. Again, look at all the blocks I collect while making these things. Many of which I will not use. <laughs> Maybe I could add like just random blocks here, you know? Just like, hey, I have a stack of this for no reason. Would you like buy it? <laughs> sort of thing. I don't know. Oh my goodness, we have a whole bunch again. I got rid of like half of them. Um, humanely, I swear, I uh, let them go um, free. And uh, we already have quite a bit again. I'm trying to level up the uh, librarians just to see what books they have. Um, so that, you know, if they're good stuff, then I can stick them in there and let people buy from them. Alright, what is- where's the best place for this? I mean, it's always best if you can go all the way around it and collect that way. Can walk around, collect it all. Actually, three sides out of four is fine. Problem is, we need to collect on this side so we can't have one right here. Although technically we could have a wall of it. I mean, it's not such a big deal now, is it? It's not so bad. And maybe have like an entrance kind of way that sort of acts as a divider here, you know? I do- I think I like that. So this is like a divider between this and this. Floor we might have to fix up a bit. I think that works just fine. I guess we should continue on on this side. Um, I'm gonna need two cows for for milk. Let's give them a nice amount of space, you know. I think this should be okay. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to just use fences or if I want to use the blocks these wooden planks like I did here. Or a mixture of both, you know. So I already have a bunch of birch planks, so I think we're gonna go ahead and use that. Let's grab one of these. Okay, so the cows are going to go in here, and oh, what else did I want? Rabbits, right, rabbits. Oh, I guess I need like, hmm. So, it's kind of making me wonder if I'm having animals here and up there. Is that such a good idea? The cows, yes, I, um, it's... The easiest way to get the milk is to have them right here, so that makes sense. Um, but for the animals that um, are to be used as food, that I don't know, that doesn't quite seem like the best... I don't think the best thing is to bring them here. Especially because this area down here I still want to keep and I still want to use for um, when we get blaze spawners. That I still want here, 
And if I remember correctly, that could be pretty tall, so I think for sure it'll end up up here. And sort of in the way of that, essentially. I think we're just gonna have the cows and the chickens here. Um, everything else I think is just gonna be up there. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Alright, let's get some cows in there. So we have our two cows there, we have three chickens laying eggs. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Um, I have no doubt that this has already been an incredibly long episode. Um, and we still have only done half of this floor. <laughs> so in an effort to spare you guys the agony of sitting through who knows how many more long, long minutes, I'm gonna just stop it here. Um, in the next episode, we will definitely finish this, finish the other side of the floor, and then add in all our items, and hopefully it turns out really nice. Um, <laughs> so if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later!